Thomas from the Divine Diva Talk Show. And I'm here today with a young man at the Philly TV Festival today. What's the, what is your name, young My man? My name is Prince. Prince? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. How did you find out about the Philly TV Festival? I found out about the Philly TV Festival by uh, attending on, um, you know, on Surprise, basically. Uh, you know, I am a member of Philly Camp. Uh, okay. Good program. So we are always looking for original content, original program. So you decided to come to the Philly TV Festival today and you found out there was some new... Show, show, short movies. Show a movie. That were really good. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about the semi-finalists? We had the Salima and Vicky show. We had Choices. We had Dublin of the Red Wine. We've even had some other stuff going on. Like, which which choice award was your best? Oh, I can't really say that right now. Uh, they were all good. Uh, they were all good. They were all good. You got us big. Which one was the best to you? The layoff? I can't say they were all good. I'm not, you know, I want to be fair towards everybody's submission and give everybody equal credit. Okay. So you heard that from Prince. He said he wants to give everybody equal credit for all of the video submissions because they were fantastic quality video and movie film productions. Okay. Mm. Who's can I uh, talk to? Let's see who else we can see. What is your name, young man? Mike A. Pender. Mr. Michael Pender, what is the name of that wonderful film called The Layoff? What, what inspired you to create that film? And why? I honestly believe that we all had experiences on jobs and in workplaces. But what inspired you, Mr. Pender, to, to, to create and develop this wonderful film and piece? Real life experience. Um, I, I lived it. It was exaggerated, but yes, I lived it. You know, I'm an artist. I would love to just write, direct, and produce full time. But you know, we all got to go to nine to five because we got bills we got to pay. I was at a job. Um, you know, the economy got bad. I, they had me laying off half my staff. Went the same results. Took away my flex time. Took away my company car. Wanted to cut my salary by thirty percent and still wanted the same results some more. And I'm kind of like, nah, it's not gonna. Right. Happen. I understand so, that. So you know, I tried my best to get laid off. So. Um, it took a while, but eventually I got it. And you know, as far as the creative aspect, um, I actually initially wrote the script to get in Project Greenlight. So when I heard it was coming, I heard it was coming at the last minute. It's like I literally wrote the script in like 15 minutes while sitting in my car. 15 minutes. I wrote it in 15 minutes while sitting in my car, and I wrote like three drafts. Wow, <laughs> wow. But you had some real experience to pack, exactly. pack it together. Exactly. Four minute video submission for the Philly TV Festival. And I'm just so impressed. Thank you. I really, I saw Miss Tatiana Bach yeah. in there. It's one of your I love cast members. Well, of course, some of the other members of the cast. Um, we have um, uh, Atif Lanier, Kia Dillard, Walter the Shields, Lee Mackay, Keith Ballard, you know, a lot of Philly talent. Wonderful. So we have Mr. Paramore. I'm Doris Thomas from the Divine Diva Talk Show, and I'm here with you today. You have a movie that was filmed here at Philly Camp, and what was the name of the film again? Um, it was called The Devil and Red Wine. The Devil and oh, Red yes. Wine. So that right there tells you there's a whole lot going on. It sounds like it's some kind of, you know, pretty intense. Tell me, what kind of what kind of relationships have, have you experienced <laughs> for crazy. you to create that type of yeah, I, film? Yeah, yeah. I just been in, in crazy situations where it's just like you know you're trying to get information out of your spouse or your significant other. And, you know, they moved on and they're not trying to hear you or talk to you. So it's kind of like, well, what can I do? And sometimes you got to go through drastic measures, you know, to get the results. And that's kind of what the situation is. But, you know, I'm doing good now. Where you know? did you get the cast members? The lady there, you could tell she was a real psychological thriller actress. Yeah, we actually are um, good friends. And she, uh, we have worked together. She was pissed off. Right, right. She was pissed off. <laughs> that's all I was. 
That's <laughs> all but you took a shot. Tired of his crack shot. Took a shot. Took it and took it and took it and took it and took it. Took it. Yeah. And she said, you know what? I'm tired of shit. <laughs> I'm just mad at this. I mean, maybe she be a little far, but sometimes we got glad for her. You gotta go all the way sometimes. <laughs> and that's where she was. But you know? Where did you film this wonderful piece? Um, this masterpiece? Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, we was in actually further down in South Jersey. All we in Swedish brought us like minutes before you start getting right to like Delaware. Right on Route 42. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we was out there. And we was in this uh, nice nice house, and we had this crazy basement. And um, I was like, you know what? I want the setting to be in a basement where you almost don't know where you at. And we're just going to get down and dirty. And it's going to get a little crazy. So that was the idea. And wow. Well, the actress I, I found, oh, uh, I worked with her before. Okay. And we're actually good friends. And she's like the sweetest lady in, in, in the world. But at the same time, you can tell that her buttons is pushed. You know, she would probably get to that situation, so I felt like she was the, per the best person to do. <laughs> she was the the wife that wanted that to find like, the you know truth. We're going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> and we're going to get a little crazy. <laughs> and, um, yep, she was willing to do it. But I think she also had the, the physical stature to pull that, 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 that type of thing off. You know what I mean? And she played it well, so. Okay. I'm well, excited. Mr. Paramore, Thank you. I know you are a winner. You're definitely a winner in my book. You. And you had a wonderful, fantastic masterpiece that oh, man, you created. Thank you. Okay. I'm glad you enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on yes. the Divine Diva oh, Talk yeah. Show. Appreciate it. Anytime. I'm back. All right. Thank you. Hello, Miss Hello. Celeste Hello. 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 This is Doris Thomas from the Divine Diva Are Talk Show. And I wanted to find out what inspired both of you to combine your efforts and energy to create the Salima and Vicky show. Well, actually, it's because we're a lot alike. <laughs> okay, well, of course, I have my own show, Salima Speaks, and I, I started my show, Interviewing Black Men, because I wanted to give them a voice because nobody else does. Um, and then I met Vicky. She's the first transgender uh, woman that I've met. I used to say man because I couldn't get past that fact that she was born a man. But now knowing her, she's my girlfriend. She's my girl. And I know that uh, if people knew about different people, they will understand them more. I don't I don't judge her as being transgender. I look at her as being a friend. I let God be the judge. I'm not God, I'm not a judge. I'm just a friend. And and we, we met each other and, and what was really neat is she was able to look past what I am and she found out who I am and, and what I am like as a person. And I had some misconceptions about her community too. And it's just really interesting that now that we both know about each other's community a little bit better, we're more comfortable with it. And that's kind of our goal is to make, to introduce different communities and, and to show the beauty of all the diversity in the, in the film. Okay. Well, I think both of you. And thank you, Divine Diva, for having us and for basically showing us that, you know, wow, you can come to the Philly TV Festival and create your own dream. Your own dream. Start your own talk show and have discussions, lectures, panels, and you even, you know, engage in finding out about different programs and different people. So understanding and building relationships and tolerance. Yes. I got you. Thank you, Divine. So we have a wonderful cast of Philadelphia talent members, crew, and local artists from all over the city of Philadelphia. Peace, love, and blessings with the Divine Diva Talk Show. <laughs>